So we rooted our Galaxy S4, we installed custom recovery, now we can install a ROM. A ROM that gets rid of bloatware, a ROM that adds reboot functions like reboot to recovery, hot boot, bootloader, etc. And in this situation, today, we're going to be installing a ROM by Unknown Force. If you've had an EVO 3D, you probably know who he is. He's responsible for the downgrade, unbrick, freaking get rid of Virgin Mobile, everything. He's an all-around awesome guy, and so I've chose to install his ROM first. How I'm gonna be doing this is, I don't have an external SD card in this phone, and I'm not gonna be putting one in it. So I'm gonna use a flash drive, since I don't wanna use the precious eight gigs of internal storage you get for apps, and your videos, and your pictures, and etc. So you get very little space with this phone. Even if you get in a, a, a micro SD card at 64 gigabytes, only your pictures and videos are gonna be stored on it. Not your apps. Some apps like Asphalt and Batman, etc., take up a gig or more. So you're you're gonna be like one game seven gigs, another game six gigs, another game five gigs. You get the point. This phone has very little memory, and that's exactly why I'm giving it to the wife once I do my full review and once I've done all the videos I want to do. And I'll still cover it and still do videos on it. They just won't come as often. So I'm just gonna plug this into the bottom here. And it's going to pop up and tell me what all files are currently on this flash drive. That's the ROM that I was going to flash. The Slim Bean one, but I changed my mind. I'm going to go ahead and flash the other one. So what you're going to want to do is reboot into recovery. And you can easily open up the... Uh, this, uh, where's it at? Goo Manager. And you can easily press reboot to recovery, press yes, and bam. But I'm going to go ahead and manually get into recovery. Since some of you probably won't know how... Probably won't, you know... I don't know. Some of you may need to get in recover manually, whether your phone's boot looping and you can't get into Android or whatever reason. So we're gonna hold down the volume down, the up button, and the power button until we see recovery booting. And then you can let go and it'll boot into Torp Recovery. Yeah. Or at least it should. Or maybe not. Nope, I did it wrong. Do I let go now? Son of a gun. So we're gonna go ahead and try that again. Okay, I'm going to be back whenever I figure this out. All right, so I finally figured it out. Let's go ahead and turn this thing off. You're supposed to hold it until you see recovery booting, then let go. So let's try that. Wait for the little text to appear on the screen. And then let go. And now it should boot us into twerp recovery. Come. Yep, there we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is plug in my little flash drive here. And then I'm going to go ahead and make a backup of my current ROM just in case. Uh, boot system data, the cache, I wouldn't worry about it. It's just extra space and it rebuilds itself when you reboot anyway. Recovery, I don't recommend backing up recovery because you have 2500 right now. Say tomorrow they update it to 2501, that fixed the huge bug with 2500. Well, every time you restore your Android, you're going to keep restoring that old recovery. So I don't recommend backing up the recovery, but it's again your choice. I do recommend backing up EFS, whatever it is. And here's where you got to go in here and choose USB OTG. And that tells you how much space is left on that flash drive. I don't even know if I'll have enough. Well, dang. Let's go ahead and try, oh, backup name, uh, stock, stock with root, press go, and then swipe to back up. Yeah, there's not enough space, dead gummit. All right, I'm gonna use this little 32 gig one instead for now. Hold the volume down, or volume up, home, power, until I see recovery booting, and then let go. And then we're gonna do the backup again. All right, awesome. So I got S4 stock with root, so I know which phone it is because I have tons of twerp backups on this 32 gig flash drive. Press go, and then going to swipe to confirm. Yes, and now the backup will 
continue and this will take a good minute so please make sure your battery's charged good enough by the way if you're using an external sd card or the internal storage which by the way if you store one android backup on your internal you probably got like six gigs left on your internal storage so i don't recommend doing that and that's where all your apps are stored so i, I definitely don't recommend doing that put a flash drive into the little usb otg thing which i can post links to in the description below or put your nandroid and your roms on the external storage if you have external sd card in there so i'll be back when this finishes by the way while you're in torp recovery if you're installing a rom backing up wiping or etc the screen is going to turn off on you unless you change that that's to keep it from burning in like some devices if it sits on one screen too long it'll burn that image onto the screen for a while if not permanently so you just tap it to wake it up somewhere somehow yeah okay so this one's not wanting to tap it when i do it but if you press a button it says swipe to unlock and there you go so the screen is going to turn off after like 60 seconds unless you change that but and, and it also saves battery if you're not plugged in because if you are backing up to your external sd card or your internal storage you can actually plug your phone in and charge it while you're in recovery doing things which you know i recommend doing if you're not using a flash drive <laughs> we're almost done it did the system which was the longest and biggest part awesome so we backed up the current rom i'm going to actually swap out the flash drives because i got the rom on this one so like magic we have the other flash drive in this is a super super old flash drive probably like 06 07 somewhere around there it's very old so we backed up our rom if you have an external sd card big enough it of course would have fit on your external sd card just fine if you have one i don't recommend storing that internal like i said before because you only get like almost nine gigs and that would take up a lot of it so store it on a flash drive store it on your external storage or your external SD card, you just don't store any internal storage. You can, but it's gonna take up a lot of space. So we did that. Under wipe, you can do it, you can slide this, but he also recommends that you do the system. So we're gonna do an advanced wipe. We're gonna do Dalvik system data cache, and that's it. Dalvik system data cache. And we're gonna swipe to wipe. This does not take long at all. What he said to do was where it said, uh, right here where you just swipe to wipe like that factory reset then go back go to advanced wipe and then do system that's what he was saying so i mean it's your choice you can do that or you can do it the way i did it it's up to you so next thing we're going to do is go to install and we're going to find oh we got it from the internal storage we actually have to choose this and choose usb otg and then there is the force rom right there and we're just going to install it and this will take a minute so i'll fast forward through this all right so we are done installing it you'll be able to look at the top it says it's 4 25 p.m right now that's not accurate at all i probably need to go in the settings you can press reboot system now if you want but here in the settings you can actually choose your time zone. I am central time. Oh well. Anyways, so reboot, end the system, and we'll see what kind of boot animation and etc. that we get. Galaxy S4 splash screen, of course. Alright, that's normal. He says that he gets rid of like over about 650 megabytes of bloatware. So that's exciting. That's awesome. Um, I'm one of those people that doesn't like having that crap in my phone. Oh, and the first boot up is going to take the longest. Like, it's kind of like, you know, it's turning on your phone for the very first time, basically. It's going to take a few minutes. So be patient, and yeah. All right, there we are. This is the very first boot after installing a custom ROM on the phone by Unknown Force. Screen lock set up. Mass storage connected. View type. Alphabetical grid. Wow, check that out. One and a half pages. Not even a half. That's nice. That is very, very nice. <laughs> That's awesome. 
And it comes with Super SU, which is even better because I love that Super SU. I'm going to install Titanium Backup real quick and uh, I'll be right back. One thing that I simply cannot fail to mention is that this actually comes with the hotspot hack. So you can actually use your phone as a hotspot without using like Wi-Fi tether for root users or any other alternative program. You could just use the built-in one. I'll actually try that out because I'm going to Tennessee uh, later this month. And if I could get the S4 Tether, heck yeah. So I'll do a separate video getting the S on how to get the S4 to Tether to a computer and showing that it works and everything like that. So that is insanely awesome. One and a half pages of apps, almost no bloatware at all. That is insanely awesome. It truly is. So hold down the power button and there's your normal, it looks normal. So when we press restart, awesome. Hot boot, download, recovery, all of those options that I'm that are very, very welcome instead of manually rebooting your phone into recovery and stuff like that. I'll have a link in the description of this video below to his thread. I'll also post links to my video on how to root the S4, how to install custom recovery, and etc. I still can't get over how how unbloated this ROM is. That's awesome. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it if you'd do that for me. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I've got many videos on the S4 and the HTC One coming very soon, as well as all my previous devices that I've not forgotten about. I'm just trying to get these videos done and cover everything I need to cover. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.